<laughs> boom, boom, boom. Look at his stun. He's scared because he's going to die the next hit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, ah. <laughs> okay, so this would be who's good to learn the game with. Ken, John. I think Alex is really simple. Not, not a good character, but I mean, he's not bad either, but easy to learn the game with. Real? Nah, I'll put him down here. Mm. I'm just gonna jumble these around. Remy's hard. Sean is bad. Yeah, he's pretty good to learn the game with. Q, very difficult. Makoto, difficult. Dudley, I'd put him right here. Urian. 12 is very bad to learn the game with. So if I were to fine tune this even more, the easiest character here to learn the game with. Come on, I guess. These are all harder characters to learn. 12 would be very difficult because he's also bad and he's very hard to play. And yeah, Young's not that bad. I'd probably play Hugo much lower to learn the game with. Clipping this out of context. <laughs> Go ahead. Q's not bad to learn the game with. Uh, honestly, if you knew just enough to get by, he would be really good to learn the game with. Hey, <laughs> what up, no good? Dad, you promised. Tier lists again. Dad, you promised. Welcome back to the World's Strongest Laboratory. Appreciate you. 34 months. This old man has lost his mind. Remy would probably be a little bit higher because he's simple, but he's not very good. I would say these six characters are the best to learn Street Fighter 3 with. Maybe even Akuma up here. Nah, I keep him down here because his health is low. Golly, I want some like, I want some street food halal. <laughs> Getting really hungry. Is Yuri difficult because of charge petition? No, I don't think you even need charge petition to have an effective Yuri. I don't even think you need unblockables. If you just play the corner mirror game with Yuri, that's really a lot. That's already a lot. And there's no charge petition petitioning needed for that. If you just put the mirror on them in the corner, and then high-low, that is a lot. That is very powerful. Unblockables are a real, really big piece of the puzzle, but just that alone is really strong for Urian. I don't think charge positioning is... I mean, you want to be able to do it eventually, but you can play him without it. Crouching medium kick, you are a god. Yeah. Chun-Li is extremely powerful at... at like beginner level. Yeah, Oro is probably really bad if you're learning the game. Maybe. Yeah, he's probably really bad. I can see that. Hey, flex money with the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you three months this in a row. This man supports three, and so I support him. And I appreciate it. Welcome back to the world's strongest laboratory. I'm hungry. Yeah, something like this. This is how I would order the characters in terms of learning the game with them. What makes Yang easier than Yun? Ganajin? Uh, Ganajin is not a beginner skill level thing. Yang, on the other hand, you can just do crotch, medium kick, mantis, slash, or what is it, Toros on? I almost want to put Dudley down here. Because his footsies aren't really obvious. Man, I want, I want lamb. Man, I'm about to get something to eat. There are a lot of beginner level Ganajin combos that you can do that are totally fine. You're sacrificing some damage, but the idea of an agent being a short bar in building meter, that's still there. Out of the top six, do people have the least matchup experience with? Probably Alex. I mean, everyone but Ken and Chun. These four characters are... are uh, probably equally played. Probably you see the most of Ryu and maybe Dudley. You don't see a lot of Yang and Alex. So if I were to do a hashtag tier list, I would say these two characters up here. Uh, where is Makoto? Uh, I think Ryu is really strong. Actually, these are these are right there. Uh, Yurian's up here. These all feel pretty close, except for Remy. Remy, Q, Oro, Oro. I'd put higher. Uh, I don't know about this. Up until Oro, I think this is pretty good. But these characters, ordering these characters, I'm not so sure. I want to put Abuki higher, but I want to put Necro higher, but I feel like Elena's pretty good too. 
this would probably be this would be really close to how I would hashtag third strike tier list how I would make it oh shit put him out of there <laughs> what you doing up there it's sneaking Alex will probably be around here and 12 he's not as bad as Sean but not as good as I uh, actually I put him at like the bottom of me here yeah I, I forgot to click on Alex that's <laughs> your <-tier> Alex <laughs> These are ordered pretty roughly, and I think Remy is better than Hugo and Q. I don't know, Q is not that bad. You have to be really skillful at the game, but Q is pretty good. All these characters are good. I would say the only characters that are truly bad in this game, Sean. I would say Sean. And then 12 is slightly... Man, I'd put 12 here. I'd put... I'd do it like this. Put Sean Mega Trash and then 12 from here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like this. Ryu is so high? Mmm, yeah. Yeah. He could be here or here, I think. Maybe even here. But this is the hashtag shock value, I guess. And yes, it's because of Denjin. Denjin Ryu is so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> and it's really cheap. Well, let's see. Yeah, I put Makoto here. Makoto is nearly game breaking. Tier list for characters best to learn how to parry with? I don't know. I think Q has the best parry window. Show us some later? We just did it in neutral? Look at that shit, man! <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Look at his stun! He's scared, because he's gonna die the next hit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! <laughs> ah, ah, ah! Ooh, ah! <laughs> it's so fucked. Look at how much health he had when this first started. He literally just did it in neutral. He's like, fuck it, let it rip. And now Kuma's like, oh, shit, shit, shit. Ooh, ooh! Uh, uh, uh. Mm. It's very dumb. Man, I'm so hungry. I want something with grill marks on it. That's what I'm in the mood for. Oh, here we go. Look at the stun. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look at how much health he had! He had full health! <laughs> Basically full health. After that that jump medium punch hit. Now he's in this position. Overhead connected. He went for two. <laughs> Alright, where where is the beginning of this crouching medium kick? Tension! Look at this. Let's see if I have a whiteboard. I do! So here is the start of where his health was. <laughs> Look at how much damage that did. Off of something you can't block. It was created by something that does high stun. It's almost like it's better if it doesn't stun them. But yeah, I put Ryu really high because... Well, I guess it's specifically Kuni Ryu. All other Ryu's would probably be down here somewhere, but Denjin Ryu specifically, I, honestly, Denjin Ryu online also is really stupid, very degenerate. Man, what about online? Let me do my online tier list. Yurian online, yeah, he's up here. Oro also, yeah. Yakuma. <laughs> Who else is ridiculous online? That probably be the main, the main characters that I would like put higher. For online setting. I don't know how I would order order this. Ken online is also, yeah, he, he's still there. Chun Li goes down. Okay. <laughs> Makoto might uh, uh Buki might go up, but I don't know. Uh I think Necro goes up. Yun probably sucks online? Hell no. Probably better online? Yeah, I think so. Because it doesn't really take much to 
uh, create distance, crouch, medium punch, activate. That part, there's not really much to do with uh, being able to react. <laughs> Just go build your meter and activate Genijin. I thought it would make the combos harder. Well, Ficade is really good about consistency when you're hitting somebody. You don't really get rollback while you're doing a combo to somebody. Yeah, these characters get a really big boost by playing online. In some ways, Hugo is better too, because the claps, pairing the claps might be harder. Online impacts hit confirming more. Yeah, that's for, that's for sure. Yun doesn't really have to hit confirm. He doesn't have difficult hit confirms with an agent. Alex Online looks better. Yeah, but probably still in the same realm of strength. Mookie's probably better too. Uh, I think Dudley is better too online. Dengen is super strong online. All these unblockable characters. <laughs> Ryu, Yuri, and Oro are like unblockable characters. They, these two literally have unblockables, but so does Ryu. You literally can't block Dengen. This is starting to look like a normal tier list. <laughs> Yang top five online. I don't think Yang... Mm, he doesn't benefit heavily from online, but he's still good. But I feel pretty good with Ficade. I can red parry on Ficade. That's crazy. It's crazy to be able to red parry, third strike online. And it's just, I don't know, really cool. Elena would get a boost. Elena gets a little bit of a boost because of Mallet Smash. Mallet Smash is harder to deal with online. Now I want a Shasta or a Fanta so a Grape Soda. I, I need to go get something to eat. It's four hours. I'm four hours, I'm four hours into this stream. I can barely speak. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Thanks for following the channel. Thanks for subscribing. The YouTube. Gotta hit up the YouTube, please. I want to get 100 subscribers by the end of this year. I don't know if I can reach that goal, but I'm gonna try. I do all the editing. I do all the stuff. I plan out the videos and whatnots. So I'm trying to make big things happen with the YouTube. So I can make big things happen with Twitch. And so I can get more people to play fighting games. And help make everybody smarter. So thanks for uh, all the support. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment or a question. I do want to grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers, but more importantly, I want to teach people fighting games. If you want to catch the live stream, link is in the description. And that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I'm Automatic. Peace!